call Loyim Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechach, Wadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders at GMS, salutations unto the elect Akim that are enduring and pushing with all long suffering and with, this, and with sound doctrine. So, hey man, we're living in the best time we could be living in. You know, we have World War III, it's on its way. The destruction of Babylon is here. All right? Now, this is the moment that the true men, that the elect have been waiting on, man. You know, this is where our long-suffering and our tarrying have... Uh, this, this is the paying off of it, man. Okay? Now, as you see, um, Trump launched an airstrike against Syria. Okay? Which we know that Russia is going to interfere and they're going to have a part to play and our re retaliation against the U.S., man. All right? And Russia's no punk, man. These, these these Russians ain't no punk. Vladimir Putin ain't no joke, man. All right? And he, he's already gearing up for war. He made He's made many of war statements aimed at U.S. citizens, man. All right? As well as Trump. So, hey, the water, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Dash, man. This is the time that we've been waiting on. This is that Romans uh, uh, 13 and 11. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right? So uh, as as of 4, 3, 18, you know, according to, this, according to this article here, it says China military tells Russia, we've come to support you against U.S. So these airstrikes that, uh, that Trump ordered against Syria... Not only is Russia going to retaliate, but China is going to retaliate uh, uh, in cahoots with Russia, man. Okay? Now, according to scripture, China's not going to be the last one to join in against the war against America. You have many different nations that are going to gear up and they're going to shoot their arrows according to the scriptures, man. Which their arrows are their missiles, their nuclear weapons. So I'm, I'm going to get into this a little bit, and then I'm going to jump to the scriptures. All right, it says, <clears throat> China's military leadership has pledged its support to Russia as tensions between Moscow and the West further deteriorate into diplomatic isolation, economic sanctions, and dueling defense drills. In his first visit to Russia, newly appointed defense, uh, defense minister Wei Feng attended the 7th Moscow International Security Conference accompanied by a delegation of other high-level military officials, emphasizing that his trip was coordinated directly with, uh, with Chinese President Xi Jinping. Wang uh, Wei said that he had two major messages for Russia at the time when both nations were attempting to modernize their armed forces and strengthen their hands in global affairs in spite of U.S. fears. All right, so... With America, you, you know you have these international bankers that they've been they've been um, declaring um, that they've been sending airstrikes for years, man. Not only to not only on Syria, but as well as Iraq, I, Iran. Okay, uh, um, what was the other? It was um, there was another one. I, I it, it escapes me. All right, but um, America's been that big bully, man. Push trying to push these other nations around. But guess what? They they say every um every everybody has his match. Alright? You you're shooting your airstrikes on 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 Syria. America's military might contrary to popular belief is not gonna be able to stand against two major forces of Russia and China alone. Okay? Now, uh, I'm going to get into the scripture here in Jeremiah. All right. And it's um, <clears throat> Jeremiah 50 and verse 14. Let me see. You have Jeremiah 50 and verse 14. It says, put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows. For she has sinned against the Lord. Okay, now ultimately, 
these prophecies are coming to pass for the sake of Israel, man. For the sake of us getting our kingdom and for the sake of the wicked being destroyed. Okay? So now these the most high has these different nations rising up. They're ready to they're ready to uh, uh rage war against the US, man. And rightfully so, man. Look at all the shit that goes on. Look at like I said, America's been that big bully trying to uh they're putting sanctions on uh, they've been putting sanctions on other countries. They've been setting up uh, uh they they've been setting up um uh, setting up their banks everywhere. They just they they've been just fucking with people, man. Okay, and and not only fucking with these different nations, but they since the beginning of time, man, they've been beating down on Jake, and and, and they're not doing it right, man. Esau is the damn devil, and he's been beating us down. Um, he, he's the Lord Sword, of course, but he's been beating us down unrighteously, man. He's just been just been terrorizing the whole world. And guess what? The most high, you know, he, he's about to pull the plug on America, man. You know? So it says, shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Yahweh, take vengeance upon her as she have done do unto her. Okay, so... <laughs> hey, the America's about to be destroyed, man. You know, and, and uh, me, me and one of the brothers, you know, we went we went into a little lesson yesterday, a little brief lesson over this um, a topic very similar. All right, but there was I, I mentioned, you know, in these times that we're in, we don't have time to be babysitting no niggas, man. I'm trying to hold a nigga hand and pull him into the kingdom. All right. If somebody don't want to get it, they don't want to get it, man. You know? We're not going to beat your door down. We're not going to blow your phones up. We're not going to get on our knees and beg and plead for you to get be a part of this thing. The Most High is on his way, man. He's about to send his son. The Most High's vengeance is on his way. Let me correct that, you know, before somebody tries to run with it. The Most High's vengeance is on the way through uh, through his son, Yahweh Shai, and through the angels, man. All right. So uh, let me let me finish this. It says, cut off the sower from Babylon and him that handleth the sickle in time of harvest for fear of the oppressing sword. They shall turn everyone to his people and they shall flee everyone to his own land. All right. So there's going to be mass separations, man. These different nations are going to go back to their own people. And that, that's going to um, the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter, man. These different nations, they're going to go back to their own people. You're going to have uh, so-called Negroes. Uh, you're going to have so-called Mexicans. You're going to have so-called white people, so-called Chinese people, so on and so forth. That they're going to go to what they know, man. They're not going to have time to be uh, uh, um, being, being a, a heathen's butt buddy, man. Because it's a time of war. All right. So it says, um, now that's all I want on that. Now I want to get into this here in second Ezra, the 16th chapter, and I'm going to close it out. All right. So it says, I'm, I'm going to start from verse, verse 11, second Ezra 16 and 11. All right. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to start up. I'm just going to start from the top, man, and run it down, you know, because it's hard to find a good point. You just got to get all the meat off the bone. All right, it's the second Ezra 16 and 1. It says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Gird up yourselves with clothes of sack and hair. Bewail your children and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. Okay, now this is speaking at, at, uh, at America, man. All right, Babylon the Great, Egypt, Syria, Asia. Okay. It says, a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Okay, so th these destructions, these plagues that are coming upon America, no man is going to be able to turn them back, despite, uh, um, you know, because you, you have people in the world that believe that America is going to last. You have people talking about 10 years from now in America. Well, guess what? <laughs> it says... A plague, uh, a sword is sent upon you, 
and who may turn it back. Okay? So no matter what you what your your optimistic American dream plans are, you can't stop the destruction. You can't stop the prophecies. You can't slow them. You can't even slow them down. Okay? All you can do hey, <laughs> and hey, it says you can't do anything against the truth before the truth. Because everything that these people do in this world is for the truth, man. Whether you're on the left hand or whether you're on the right hand. It's all that prophecy may be fulfilled and the will of the Most High may be done. Verse 5, it says, Plagues are sent among you, or plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood? Or may any man or anyone quench the fire and stubble when it be, hath begun to burn? May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer? The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? <clears throat> it's like it says, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? So the Most High has in vengeance and a wrath that he has preserved for America. Who's going who's gonna to tell the Most High that you can't do this? Who's going to tell the Most High that maybe you should get him another chance? You know? Because the Most High created the world. He knew he, he created these people, man. You know? He let the spirits get on these people to do these things just so he can show his, show his, um, uh, so he can show his hand, man. Show his strength. Just like he did in Egypt. He hardened the heart of Pharaoh just that he made, so he may show his, uh, his fear and his strength to the people. Okay? And that's exactly what's going on, about to go on now on a heavy level with this uh, World War Three on the way. All right? He hath cast light, he shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not utterly be beaten to uh, powder at his presence? The earth quaketh, and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord and before the glory of his power. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. So when these when this war breaks out and they get to shooting these missiles over here, guess what? There are going to be a lot of casualties. A lot of people are going to die, man. And, and according to Isaiah, the 65th chapter, the Lord it says the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the Lord orchestrating this war, man. Because he is a man of war, according to the book of Exodus. All right? Hey, once again, man, to the elect Akim out there, man. Because we, we know brothers are putting up prayers, man. We're putting up prayers because this is what we've been waiting on, man. So I'm going to say call halal yum, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaka Dash, Baraka Thumb to the elect Akim, you know. And all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaka Dash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders at Great Millstone that teach so well, and salutations to the elect Akin, man. We're about to go home, all right? With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom.